Hello, my name is Marie-Lou Jordan Marcelet. I'm an astrophysicist, and uh, in my work, what I try to do is to understand a little bit more our universe. And um, to do this, I study in particular galaxies and the supermassive black hole that is hidden inside those galaxies. Uh, perhaps you've looked at pictures of galaxies before, and you must have noticed that they have all sorts of different shapes, morphology, and, and, and things like that. And I'm trying to understand why a particular galaxy will develop these structures and others won't. And, and to do this, I'm using telescopes that are located all around the world or even in space. And I'm taking super, super precise picture of these galaxies and to try to understand what's going on in them. So why did I become a scientist? Um, big question, uh, but I think it's just because I've been always uh, very, very curious uh, since I'm very, very young. I've always uh, loved to watch uh, nature, like how the water flow in a river or how certain birds will fly or how snow accumulate in trees and things like that. Um, I've always found it so beautiful and so interesting. Um, and of course, you know, looking at the night sky, the Milky Way, how Venus is so bright in the night sky or how uh, Andromeda looks so beautiful when you look at it with just binoculars. Um, or for example, Saturn in, in the little telescope, you can see uh, the little rings around it. So it's very, very nice. Um, so, of course, uh, observing nature and trying to understand it uh, is a part of my work that I, that I really, really like. Um, it goes also very well with my, the side of me that is more like um, adventures and exploring things uh, because uh, astronomy allows me to, um, you know, go into those places where we put telescopes, which are always like special um, remote <laughs> location on top of mountains or in deserts and things like that. Uh, so that goes super well with me. Um, and I'm also a very social person, so I love teamwork and science is something that you do with people, you're not alone. So you have to work with a lot of people and that's also uh, why I like, I like to, to do science. So yeah, I would say books have been um, sort of a safe space uh, for me since I was a since I was very very young. I think I was like five years old and not even able to read yet, and and I already knew all about you know that section in in the library about sea life. Like I was very very passionate about that. Um, but I would say that more than science fiction, I was mostly a fan of fantasy novels. Um, I don't know, I, I allow me to, to dream, I had a lot of imagination. Um, I also really like books about traveling and, um, and expeditions in, in places like Antarctica and this, these kind of things, uh, because I was always dreaming of, of traveling around with my backpack and things like that. Um, I'm also a big fan of uh, comic books. Uh, all kinds of comic books, uh, but I really like reading all the albums of the adventures of Tai Tai. Uh, for sure, I think my, I would say, my favorite ones are, of course, uh, Destination Moon and Ex Explorers on the Moon. Uh, but I also really, really like um, uh, the Shooting Star uh, one. Um, so for sure, I mean, in those albums, for sure, the way they describe scientists uh, is not that great, <laughs> because they are all like, old men uh, that are a little bit of the mad scientist uh, type. So it was a bit hard to recognize myself into those characters, but I still really enjoy to, to read those albums. Um, then, you know, classic science fiction movies, uh, Star Wars, uh, Contact, uh, Encounter of the, of the Third Kind, um, all of these, uh, I think they, these really had an impact on, on me. Um, and, and TV shows like Dic like Découverte, uh, for example, that I was watching when I was very young with my little brother and they were talking about exploration on Mars and things like that. That, uh, that was uh, very interesting for me. And then later on, uh, I started reading um, science, uh, scientific journals like Quebec Science. Um, so yeah, definitely books. 
um, had a really big impact on my life, on uh, the scientist that I am now. So I actually have two answers <laughs> for that question. Um, I think the first one would be, I mean, related to my work because um, so you know all the all the planets the stars the galaxies that we are observing well actually these are only five percent of our whole universe so there's like this 95 percent of other things that we know that exist but we don't know what it is <laughs> like we for now we cannot observe it we cannot understand it we just know that it's there so there's like so many things that we don't know about our universe. And I mean, every day, I think like people are making like little steps, you know, in, in trying to find out about these things. Um, but yes, of course, so I, I would love um, us to know better our universe, to understand better how this works. Um, so this is kind of my first answer. Uh, my second answer is is, is more different and, and, and it's something very important to me as well, something I'm, I'm working very hard on. Um, so it's about changing um, the culture of the scientific world, basically. Um, because if you, if you close your eyes for one second and try to imagine, you know, what in your head uh, is a person that do science, well, Probably the, the image that comes to your mind is, you know, a scientist like Einstein or someone like that and not someone like me or someone like you. So if I could change one thing in the world right now, it would be that, you know, uh, girls and boys, wherever they are from in the world, you know, if they want to do science, if they want to become a scientist, they should. And uh, and so in this way, you know, the, the scientific world would become uh, much more diverse with people that are all different and that will bring uh, different ideas. So that's another very important thing for me. So to conclude, uh, one thing I wanted to add is that, um, you know, it was never super, super clear for me that I wanted to become a scientist. Um, I always thought that it was like for super intelligent, a genius kind of people but really I think what matters the most is curiosity and even then like it's something that you will develop uh, through different experience that you have in your life um, so don't be afraid of things you don't understand at the beginning uh, science is a process uh, it takes time it takes patience um, sometimes it's annoying a bit but uh, it's definitely worth it because when you understand just a little small thing or make a small discovery it's so satisfying it's really really worth it um, and there's not only one type of scientist there are many types of, of, of science that, of people that do science uh, everyone can bring uh, something different that is important to science and you can be one of those people um, so in the meantime I will be there uh, for you I will encourage you to join us and so I hope to see you soon Ciao.